and it just did it like if I was gonna do tray flip normally. For the 360 flip no slide, the main thing that I was having trouble with was whenever the like the 360 flip was good. Like I didn't have a problem flipping it. It was just whenever I was curving into the ledge. Like let's say, let's say this is the ledge, and let's say this is my board. I'm coming at it at an angle. A big thing that was messing me up was me going at an angle for the 360 flip no slide because every time I'd flick it it hit the ledge right there like it like it wouldn't even let it go up it just hit it and it wouldn't just go in and then i went at it straight and for some reason it just did it like if i was going to do tray flip normally and then it just locked in i slipped out on a a good amount the one i rolled away with i was hyped on but i felt like it wasn't like the ones where i actually slid on so i really think for tray flip no slide, it's just treat it like if you're gonna do it straight and then you'll lock in. So that's that's what I figured out with tray flip no slide, to be honest. And tray flip no slide is a really sick trick. I was hyped on it. And I got it in, at LES, not my hometown park. So I hope that helped understand tray flip no slide. That was just my challenge with 360 flip no slide. But yeah, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next trick challenge. Sign out until next one.